Hi, Tigger lovers. This is where we left off last night, reading about a Tiggerific band. Tigger's trying to figure out what instrument he wants to play in the band, and he does not like these. He called them cymbals. They clashed together, and they gave him a headache, he said. So now we'll continue with the story. Here's the next page, and it is. Pooh. In the meantime, Pooh found a wonderful instrument to play. He rattled a jar. Shake, shake, shake. That's the sound the maracas make, he chanted. Oh, goody, said Rue. Our band is almost ready. Tigger hung his head. But there's nothing for me to play, he said sadly. Well, we'll help you, Tigger, said Christopher Robin. What kind of instrument did you have in mind? And Tigger thought for a moment. Hmm, one that's uh, Tiggerish, he declared. Tiggerish. Okay, well, here it comes. The friends looked from top to bottom of Pooh's house. Surely there was something Tigger could play, and Rue found two sticks to bang together. Too clickety clackety, Tigger complained. Hmm. Well, Pig Piglet gave him a fireplace fan to squeeze. Too squeezy wheezy, decided Tigger. And finally, Pooh gave Tigger his doorbell. Oh, too ding a said Tigger. He flopped in a chair. Maybe there's no such thing as a Tiggerish instrument, he said with a sigh. Hmm, maybe there's not, but don't give up, Tigger. Suddenly, Christopher Robin smiled. Well, maybe there is something for you, but it hasn't been invented yet. Wait right here. Soon, Christopher Robin pulled up with his wagon to Pooh's house, and his friends came out to see the collection of old junk in a wagon. There was toys and broken bits of pieces of this and that. Look at all that stuff. Wow, look at What could you make with all that? That's what Tigger's got to figure out. The only way to make an instrument fit for a Tigger is for a Tigger to make it himself, Christopher Robin explained. Tigger was filled with excitement. Well, what am I waiting for, he shouted. I got work to do. And he tore right into that wagon. Look at Oh, man, that'd be fun. Tigger immediately set to work. He grabbed the horn. He slung a washboard on his back. Some sort of instruments were too heavy and some made him twist like a pretzel when he played. And he looked at the pile of odds and ends trying to decide what to do next. And Rue decided he wanted to make Tigger feel better so he said, it's okay. We don't have to make a band. We could play some games instead. So Rue picked up a slingshot and an acorn and he ran to the nearest tree. Boing, went the slingshot. Oh, that's it, said Tigger. For a few minutes, Tigger had built himself, I'm sorry, in a few minutes, Tigger had built himself a brand new instrument. And when he plucked it with his slingshot strings, it spread smile right across his face. Boing, boing, wee, exclaimed Tigger, bouncing with glee. This music sounds just like me. Well, that would be fun, too. Yeah. Look at, there he is, playing in the band. At long last, the band was ready to play. Each band member took a turn reading a song. Rue started them off with a nice, loud one. Christopher Robin played a rousing tune just per perfect for marching. Piglet's song had everybody skipping about, and Pooh had his, and his shaker got his pals wiggling and giggling. Wow. When it was Tigger's turn to take the lead, he even sang a little tune. Round and round and do si do music makes me tap my toe. Grab a partner, feel the beat. Music gives me happy feet. Boy, everybody was dancing and they had a wonderful time. But nobody had a better time than Tigger, who finally felt the music inside and out. Oh, that was a good one. Now here's things you can do. You can make a band that is just as Tiggerific. You bounce your way back through the story and try to imitate the sounds that the instruments make. You can try your hand at playing a new instrument. How does playing and listening music make you feel?